Okay, let us understand about the like and unlike fractions. Okay, now there are two sets which I have done here. These are the like fractions and these are the unlike fractions. By observing this, can you tell me what is common between these set of fractions? Why are they like? When I say like, I am not meaning the like of a Facebook. What I mean is they are kind of similar to each other. And why is it that there is these are unlike? Yes, you've got it right. In case of like fractions, if you would have noticed, right, what has happened is that the denominator is 7 in all the four cases. So like fractions are fractions whose denominator is the same. So in all these fractions the denominator is same. Can you find out one factor which is like for the first set of fractions in the unlike one? Yes, it is 4 by 7. Why? Because the denominator here also is 7. So if you write 4 by 7 here also, then also these set of fractions remains like. Whereas in the case of unlike factors, the denominator are different. This is the basic difference between a like factor, like fraction and an unlike fraction. Okay. Now you can always convert these unlike fractions into a like fraction. Right? But how do you do that? So let's say I had this set of fractions which are unlike. Now I want them to be converted into like fractions. Convert into like fractions. Now how do you do that? The process for this is very simple. Okay. So basically what do you do is you find out LCM of all denominators. So let's say we have 5, 7 and 9 over here. Right? Incidentally, all these numbers don't have any common factor. So I divided by 5, I get 1 here, 7 and 9 are carried forward. Then I put in 7 here, 1, 1, 9. And then I do it by 9 here to get 1. So the LCM of these three numbers is 5 into 7 into 9, right, which is 315. 5 into 7 is 35, 35 into 9 is 350 minus 35 or 315, right? Now, how do you do this into a like factor? So to do the like factor, I have to have 3 upon 5 is equal to some number where the denominator is 315. Similarly, for 4 upon 7, I need to have the denominator as 315 and for 5 by 9 also I need to have the denominator as 315. Right? Now if you notice 5 has been multiplied by 7 and 9 to get 315. Right? 
you multiplied this 5 by 7 and 9 to get 315. If you have to get a fraction which is equal to this left hand fraction, you have to multiply 3 also by 7 and 9. Right? So 3 into 7 is 21. 21 into 9 is 189 upon 315. Right? Again, in this case, 315 is equal to 5 into 7 into 9. The denominator here is 7, so 7 has been actually multiplied by 5 and 9 to get 315. So we also need to multiply 4 by the same number. So we multiply 4 by 5 and 9. We get 180 by 315. Right? You want to do this yourself? So you've multiplied 9 by what? You've multiplied 9 by 5 and 7. So you need to multiply even the numerator by the same number, 5 into 5 into 7. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 into 7 is 175. Now, if you notice, this is 189 by 359. This is 180 by 315. 175 by 315. Now, if you notice, all these fractions have become like fractions. Why? Because their denominator is common. Right?